Hi everybody, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. No intro. Uh, if you've seen a thumbnail, you'll probably understand why. Uh, we'll do an intro when it's more appropriate. And I've got to say, before I even go into this video, chances are uh, I'm, I might get a little bit ranched. <laughs> might get a little bit ranched because um, the earnings call for Activision Blizzard uh, kind of ma almost made me sick in a way. I'll go into that as to why. But it kind of made me feel physically sick. And uh, it, it was down to the, the use of the verbiage, uh, how they structured things and positioned things in relation to each other, and uh, where the company's going to go. And yeah, it, it's, it's, it's not good. So let's just get kind of like stuck straight into it. So Rob starts off by announcing that the company has done a record year. 2018 was a record year for Activision Blizzard. Re historic in terms of uh, revenue, profits, all that kind of stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, and then they just uh, fire. I mean, you can say lay off. You know, they get severance packages. You can call it what you want, but essentially they're firing. Uh, and then they just go and fire 800 people. Now, um, uh, Shreya from Kotaku, he's he's reporting that uh, when people are arriving at Blizzard today, uh, they're in tears in the car park. People are in tears, and they're hugging each other because they knew what was coming. I don't know if they knew it was them, but they knew uh, it was going to strike, and the, the redundancies, these 800 job losses, 8% of the Activision blizzard workforce gone record year record profits see you later eight percent and i'm going to get to some verbiage in a minute because it made me mad and this is lost throughout activision through blizzard entertainment and also through king as well and the uh the verbiage that they used when it came uh to to this sacking of 800 people you got to stress that but you know you got to make sure that you're fully aware of this 800 people just lost their jobs, uh, but they didn't. They didn't put it like that. No, it's it's restructuring. It's corporate restructuring. This, you know, in our souls. Um, and they said uh, they were making room for more meaningful roles. That was the verbiage. Making room for more meaningful roles. I've. I can't. I use the tone. I I use the term tone deaf. But just just. When you hear people say that, you just know they're up there and they don't give a f don't give two shits about these people whatsoever. They are stuck there, uh, up there with their tens of probably hundreds of millions in Rob's case, hundreds of millions of dollars. You got CFOs who are leaving the company, coming back 18 months later, uh, getting $15 million sign-on bonuses. Here, have $3.5 million up front. We'll give you another you know, $11.5 million in, uh, in stock option bonuses if you hit your targets. And it's been a record year, so goody-goody. Oh, I'm happy to be back at Blizzard. No shit. I bet you got 15 million reasons to be happy to be back at Activision Blizzard. I should say Activision Blizzard, not Blizzard that he's back at. It's Activision Blizzard. And then what made me even more mad with Rob and his usage of verbiage was he he uh, he said in the Q&A afterwards he said uh, oh this was in uh, this was in my top 5 most most difficult decisions ever. Oh really Rob? Oh right. Oh you've got top 10 lists, have you? You got top 10 lists of shit that you do in your life. Yeah. When you go home tonight, yeah, you're going to go to the one. Rob's top 10 most difficult decisions. Well, this one's in the top five. Hmm. Going to work out which one of the top five this was. Is the, is the, is he firing 800 people number three? Or is it number four? I'm not too sure. I don't think it's number one. I don't think it's number one because, you know, I don't give a shit at the end of the day. And that kind of, that language just like, so again, tone deaf. Top. It's in my top five. Oh, piss off, Rob. Um, sorry, I'm just really kind of like rattled. Um, one of the uh, the the big uh, wow uh, CMs, uh, Yethersons, uh, they were let go. They were fired. Let's just call it how it is. Uh, they were fired, um, and they've been uh, one of the people who have been as as much on the gamer side as you're ever going to see a CM. And, and I've seen some pretty piss poor CMs at Blizzard that just really don't care. Uh, but this person was as as good a as good a CM uh, as regards to to 
pushing what the player base wants than anything you're going to see. And uh, they're gone, uh, which is great because they also talked about they also talked about how they want to build relationships between them and their community. Build relationships. We want to build relationships between us and our and our gamers by sacking everybody in the middle and then leaving all the people who just don't have any clue how to communicate, want to communicate, don't care, looking to take paychecks home. Yeah. So the the people in the middle, yeah, let's let's improve communication uh, by sacking them. Mm, just unbefreaking leaveable uh, to be perfectly honest with you. So this whole kind of like tone deaf uh, nature um, just got me so angry. It got me so mad. And then when we had the Q and A uh, afterwards, it, it all became it all became clear. I'll get into that in a second. But uh, they have announced that uh, Blizzard uh, will will most likely next year, well this year, uh, not do so good, not do as much as last year. Uh, probably not do as much as as last year because uh, nothing's coming out this year. <laughs> nothing from Blizzard is coming out this year. There's going to be nothing now. Before you panic, uh, I think they stated nothing major. Now, when they say major, I, I believe that obviously means. I say obviously, I shouldn't. I believe that means a new title, a brand new IP, or a new expansion, or something like that. I don't think they they mean classic as that. So I'm still hoping classic is coming out uh, in the summer. I still want that option. Uh, I mean, it's ten times the game this current piece of shite is. Um, so uh, I'm really still hoping that classic is coming out in the summertime. Uh, so I think we need to try and get some clarification uh, on that from from Blizzard themselves, from Blizzard Entertainment, as regards to classic, because I think uh, I think we're a little bit little bit concerned about that one but as far as i'm aware it's it's still on for a summer 2019 release and then they announced this is it this is this is we're getting into the brunt of it this is what it's all about now folks so forget that blizzard don't matter you know every we want to we want to uh, make more content we want to make more content and so you know that's that's how we're going to go going forward. We just we're going to engage our audience by making new content, more content, more content, more content. Where is it? This pff, content shite, God's sake! It comes out so bloody slowly, and in, in, in case of World of Warcraft, particularly, it's just dross in this expansion. So yeah, goody goody. Um, and <clears throat> according to Rob as well, content in Overwatch, by the way, is just uh, heroes and maps. Uh, he said there's great potential for storytelling in Overwatch as well. <laughs> Storytelling in Overwatch. Okay, moving on. God, I can't even laugh in this video. Um, but this is what it's all about now. Uh, not even kidding you, COD Mobile. Not even kidding you, Call of Duty Mobile. Because when it went to the Q&A and when people were asking Rob questions, this is what we got. This is all that we got. Mobile, 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 China. Well, they did say Asia, uh, to be honest with you. But that is it. That is where their focus seems to be with everything. Just mobile, mobile, mobile. Oh, it's such untapped potential, I think his actual words were. Untapped potential. Oh, I've got untapped potential here. So, uh, yeah, don't be surprised if, if this is all that we're going to get. Uh, they were asked about Diablo Immortal, uh, where I was assured it was going to be this this wonderful, deep uh, Diablo experience that, that players would... Oh, piss off. It's on the mobile phone, for Christ's sake. So, yeah, Call of Duty Mobile uh, is going to come. So all those PC players, you know, who love playing uh, the Twitch shooter on their keyboard mice... Yeah, uh, they're all going to jump over to uh, to COD Mobile. They're all going to jump over to that. Um, and uh, what was... I mean, I, sh I shouldn't say it was unexpected, but what was pretty sick is, uh, of course, um, when they announced the, uh, the layoffs uh, and the restructuring, uh, stock price went up. <laughs> stock price went up. Record profit. Record profits, you say? Uh, best year you've ever had, you say? Laying off staff so you can restructure to make more monies. Oh, 
lets the stock price go up. So it's up around $43 at the moment. So it's gone up about $3 since close uh, last night, which is up about uh, 7 seven seven and a half ish uh, percent so uh yeah there was just so much on the focus of mobile going forward mobile um it, i i feel i just feel listening to it like i said the reason why i feel physically sick is listening to this listening to this earnings call i just didn't see any any future for the games that i've loved you know like wow and stuff i really didn't I just, I just thought, no, they, they, are not interested in innovating, uh, innovating WoW at all. They're just in innovate, uh, interested in just keeping it going, literally, just, just keep the corpse going. So I'm just expecting more copy and paste shite. I'm not expecting anything, you know, innovative, different, inventive. I know it's innovative again, but whatever. It's late, I'm tired, and I'm out of superlatives and adjectives and all those things. Um, so it, it's it's so, so sad that you've, you've uh, you, you know, I feel so sorry, legitimately so sorry for these 800 plus people uh, who have lost their jobs in the wake of a record year with record profits. What does that say about a company? What does that say? If you were, if you had any, any sort of backbone, morality whatsoever, if you were le legitimately looking to restructure, then surely you would do it uh, systematically throughout the year. You wouldn't just leave it to one lump sum. You know, you'd say, right, this team here, this team here is not working out you know or they've they've uh reached the potential that we can we can get with them or it can merge in with this department or whatever uh and unfortunately we're gonna have to let some of them go because you know we've only got room for x here you do it just gradually throughout the course so you have you have this uh just like organic flow throughout the court you know throughout the year but to to get to the end of the year announce record numbers, historic year, and then say bye-bye to 8% of your workforce. <sighs> I just I just think it's pretty disgusting. Uh, I'm so sorry. If you're one of the 800 and you ever see this video, I'm, I'm genuinely so sorry. I really do hope that you get work, and soon. Uh, and, and hopefully, and I know some of you probably love the company and you're so sad to have left it, um, but for, for you know, for a company that's actually looking to go forward with their games, uh, instead of just you know jumping onto China to try and get that uh, Eastern, uh, I don't even know the currency, Dong, I think it is. That's one hell of a way to end the vid. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do get a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming. Links there in the description box down below. Uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more stuff. You take care. Bye for now.